I'm gonna talk about the app called Printers that is on your Clover device. On your Clover device, there's many apps um, and one app that can come in handy from time to time in case your printer stops working or something's not right. And I'm referring to in-store orders, okay? Online orders, um, that can also relate to it. But for in-store orders, sometimes your printer cannot work, uh, maybe a malfunction. There's several things you can try to fix that. One thing you can do is do a reboot and I'll show you how to do a re reboot. I have another video on reboots on how to do that, but I'll briefly show you. You put your finger on the top right, swipe down, press the circular icon, and then press reboot, okay? Not power off. So be very careful. You can power it off, but it just takes a long time to get it back up again. Reboot is very quick. It's about 30, 45 seconds. So let's say you do the reboot and it still does not print. The next thing you can do is go to the printers app, which is on the Clover device. If you don't see it, that means you're not logged in as manager or administrator or owner. So you have to be one of those permissions. Once you do that, find the printers app on the Clover device. You may have to scroll to the next page. See how I'm scrolling back and left and right? So you have to do that in case you don't see it. So now I have the printers app. Once you find the printers app, you'll see receipts, orders. Receipts means it prints a receipt printer here. Orders means it prints the order printer. Uh, orders to the printer. If you have a black kitchen printer in the back, then you can have that one designated to print the order printer. Let's say it's not printing to the order printer and you want to figure out how to diagnose that. You can call Clover and they can assist you, but if you wish to avoid that or you don't want to get on the phone with them, try a few things um, that I can recommend for you. Click on it, click on orders printer and just press test, press pr uh, print test receipt. If it works, that means it's working. You, have, you don't have to worry because it's working. But if it's not, if it gives you an error, what you can do is click on it and watch how I do the step-by-step -step because it's very important you do it right. On the top right, you see a trash can icon, okay? Press the trash can icon and delete that printer, okay? Now wait a few seconds and then add it back again. How do you add it back again? You have to press the plus sign on the bottom right. When you press the plus sign, it's gonna ask you, what printer do, would you like to add back to your device? Which one do we just delete? We deleted the order printer, right? So we wanna add that one back. So choose order printer. And then now it's gonna say, where is your order printer? Which one is it? Because it doesn't know. It wants, you, it wants you to tell it where's your order printer because it thinks that maybe this is it, maybe you have another one in the back. But since all I, since all I have is this one, I'm gonna make this the order printer. I click on it, now right away, my order printer becomes this one. And of course, my state, my uh, payment printer was always also this one too. So that's how you can kind of do these little troubleshooting steps yourself to fix it. If that doesn't fix it, you have Clover Support's phone number to call them and they will help you step by step by troubleshooting it for you. Again, I'm not saying this is a, the, the cure all or it works for everybody, but these are small things you can do uh, to make sure that everything is printing correctly and working uh, properly. And if your question is about the online orders printing from Smart Online Order, that is a complete different video. So please search for that on YouTube called Smart Online Order Printing, and that way you can find that. Thank you so much.